welcome to this Ask Zenla. Now in this Ask Zenla, I was asked a question like how do we actually separate uh, courses out into categories? So you can see I've got uh, four courses here. There's one intermediate, two advanced course, and one beginner's course. So these as a category would be beginner, advanced, intermediate. So I'm going to make categories up for these courses here. Let's jump into here, into the first course, come down to categories, and I'm going to select in here, intermediate. And hit enter. Now you're going to notice that nothing happens. That's because underneath the course, we need to actually set up our categories. So I'm going to come into categories here. I'm going to add category. And you're going to see that it's going to generate a URL for us. Let's call this intermediate guide to Zendler. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it in here, and click. Let's make sure I spelt this correctly. And add the category. There we go and we have a URL. Let's add a new one. We call this beginners. Paste it in there, add category. We've got two categories. So the last one, we're gonna do advanced. Okay, so we now have the three categories set up. We can now go into the courses and we're gonna be able to add them at this point. So I've got the intermediate course. I'm gonna click in here. I'm gonna select intermediate. I'm gonna click update. I'm gonna go back to the course. I'm gonna go into advanced part two and I'm gonna click advanced and update. And then I'm gonna do the same for the other two. So this is an advanced course. And finally, we're gonna go into the quick start guide, which is the beginner's course. And click update. Okay, now we have assigned the courses to different categories and we have URLs that we can reference in here. And you're also gonna see the courses, the total courses that are in those as well. Now you can always come in here and edit or delete a category as well. So if I hit the edit, you can see here, it tells you the name of the courses that are in that one, and it gives you the URL. So you can do some editing in here if you want to. Okay guys, so now we set up the categories for our courses. We've got three categories, advanced, beginner, and intermediate. Let's gonna have a look at the site now. So I'm just gonna jump into the site here, and you can see we've got our courses, and we've also got this category. So if guys, if you haven't got this category section, it's because you've got the wrong dynamic block in there. So if you haven't got this here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna jump into this page and just make sure that you have that proper block in there. So if I show you quickly, we go to blocks. You've got two different types of blocks. So if I go to courses, we've got a course block here that has the actual um, search functionality the search feeder and we've also got this one here which is, hasn't got the search feature so if i just drag that one in you'll see the difference so that one hasn't got that search feature in there but this block has okay so it's up to you which one you choose um, that search feature enables you to be able to go and filter these based on those category tags that you set up so if i go to beginner's guide you can see there it's gone to the beginner's guide you can see it's also taken us to another page as well so there uh, guys also if this page does not show up and you get an oops um, sign then it's probably because your all courses page is unpublished I'm just telling you that just in case this page here this is the page that this goes to okay so it's one page that you can edit as you like as I'm going to show you in a minute but if you have it unpublished let me just unpublish it and click update then what you're going to get on this page if I refresh 
is oops okay so do make sure that that page that all courses page is actually published and then you won't have any problems so if I now refresh there so that page that all courses page is what's going to hold all of these categories for you to be able to split them out so that's how you can split your pages up you can see it says the category in there as well um, so if I go into that page to edit it let me just go into that all courses page I can put whatever I like into this page so I'm going to click edit here and there's our page and we can just add blocks like we normally would so I could come in here and I could go to uh, blocks here and I can add whatever I like so if I choose an empty block or something then I can fill content out let's choose an empty block and create something so I could drag that in there um, I could change the color of that if I wanted to or of course you could copy blocks from another area then I can go and add blocks into here Add a row add an element let's put a heading your categories whoops something like that and save that and what you're going to see on this page now if I refresh it is that gray box is going to appear so when you jump to any of these you're going to see this same template so this page holds all of the category information the only bit that gets replaced is this piece in here okay so that's how you can split them up to have them in the category now also bear in mind that you could have a link directly to this so if I took this um, URL and I go into the header area which is a dynamic header area I could go in and set a menu up so I could come in here and I could set um, courses and then I could just do it as a drop down just as a sample here and then I can add a drop down here and call this um, advanced okay and then I can go select a link go in here drop that link in there I think that's the advanced one yep and save that then I could come into the next one down here go to beginners guide copy copy back in here add another one beginners guide select a link save and then I could do intermediate as well so and by the way I'm just grabbing these links from here but you could get that in the category page as well under categories so let's add this one in here call this intermediates yep and add a link in there save that and I could shuffle the order of these if I wanted to as well like this and I could save this and now when I refresh this page control and refresh then I'm going to get this come up and I'm going to be able to just jump straight to these via this so if I go to my home page now you can see I can just jump now straight to these so I've selected them by categories and they're appearing in there and remember this is the master template for it so you've only got to do that all courses page to change that you could um, take uh, the home page elements and paste them in if you wanted to so if you wanted to take maybe the um, this page and you wanted to take some of these elements from here you could come into here copy it it's a little bit breaking from the tutorial which is all about categories and separating them but I'm just going to show you this just because uh, it's useful for you so in here I could take this block here I could open this code up copy it control A control C to copy and come back into the all courses page I'm going to take this block and replace the code so I'm going to go in here I'm going to select all control A delete it out press control V to copy it in save it and now we've got that same style going on in there which you can extend and then I could change the text in here Zenla categories okay and then I could save that 
and now inside here if I refresh this page this master template will be updated and you'll also have that ability to be able to jump between the different pages so that's how you can do it now if you're going to ask me how you could set up different uh, categories on the home page that's going to be a problem because this category we have got the the um, search there but we can't set up the categories all of these in different areas on the same page what you can do though is you can do one of them by making it a featured course so I'm going to show you that quickly now as well so if we go into courses uh, I'm going to take one of these courses let's take this intermediate guide I'm going to come in here and if you look down here we've got make the course featured so if we click this and then we update this intermediate guide to Zenla is now a featured course so if we go back to the site and we refresh it on the home page, you're going to see that nothing happens. Okay, but that's because we haven't put a block in there for featured uh, content. So if I come into the page, let me just close these down so it's clear, and go to pages, and on that uh, page here the members page I'm going to put that featured block in here because we don't just have all courses block we have a featured block so this is the way that you can separate it and here we go so I'm going to go into blocks I'm going to go to courses and you're going to notice we have a dynamic block called featured courses this will put any courses that have been marked as featured into this block so if I put it into here now you're going to see because we've got one course featured it's going to pop up in here and we can style this however we like as well so you can go in here and maybe change the background color a little bit so click save and now if I come back into this and I hit the refresh we have that course on its own it's already in this course of course but it's now in this featured area now if you want to know how to change this text up here as well as here that's all under the language settings so if you go down to language and then you come into the general tab and uh, we can find where it is in here so what we're looking for here is featured courses text so let's have a look down find featured courses I think it's in this area and here it is here featured courses so I could call this special offer courses or course if I've only got one okay make sure that you save it uh, what you're gonna see in here now when I refresh is this will change there you go special offer course so you can change the text you can also change the text for that as well so that is how we can break the site about and add our own sections to those now we can do more with things like this but we require some coding to do that if you want to find out more about how to get rid of this and these sort of things make sure that you have a look at the NZ masterclass bundle and ninja tricks which is using coding and CSS to do that but as a default functionality to be able to separate courses by categories this is very effective and if you need to have a separate one on a home page, you can also make it a featured course. So hopefully that's helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, let me know how you do.